a huge coffee lover and genuinely get so much deep enjoyment out of smelling freshly brewed coffee in the morning. But I've been trying to kick the habit of drinking coffee as the caffeine stimulates my adrenals too much, switching my parasympathetic nervous system from rest and digest into fight or flight mode. So I've really been missing coffee in my life. Coffee candles are my personal way of indulging in the fragrance of coffee without actually needing to drink it. These candles allow me to savour that wonderful coffee smell all day long and are super easy to make. If you're keen on candle making and share my love for coffee, then this DIY candle project is definitely for you. Coffee candles are simply candles made with coffee grinds and take on the scent of coffee, bringing a wonderful fragrance to the home when lit. For this DIY coffee candle, you'll need a coffee mug, beeswax, you can also use soy wax, but just ensure you source the wax carefully, and some ground coffee. You can use either used or fresh coffee grinds, but fresh grounds will give off a slightly stronger aroma. For a stronger scent, you can add a few drops of coffee essential oil to the wax mix. For essential oil candles, use 200 drops of essential oil for every half a cup of wax to achieve a noticeable scent. To make this coffee candle, start by pouring one cup of beeswax, either in pellets or shredded, into a metal pitcher or glass jar and place the container in a large pot of water, filled just enough to cover the outside of the container without spilling over. Bring the water to a boil, then turn the heat down to medium heat and stir the wax occasionally until completely melted. You want to make sure that no water spills into the container. Please note that the amount of wax will vary depending on the size of the mug that you use. Once melted, remove the wax from heat and add the coffee grounds to the mug. Pour a small amount of the wax mix into the bottom of the mug, then return the container to the hot water to keep the wax melted. Place a wick into the wax, keeping it to the centre of the mug. You can use a bamboo skewer to hold the wick securely in place while the wax sets, as this will take around 5-10 to 10 minutes. From there, pour the remaining melted wax into the mug over the top of the coffee granules and leave about an inch of room at the top. Centre the top of the wick with a bamboo skewer or pencil by wrapping the end of the wick around the skewer until taut, then lay it horizontally over the mug. This will keep the wick in place while the wax hardens. It may take a few hours for the wax to completely set, I usually leave mine overnight. Allow the wax to cool completely before trimming the wick. Once the wax has completely hardened, trim the wick about half an inch, then it's ready to light. Do not trim it any shorter than this because it will make a smaller flame, which may cause the candle to tunnel. When it comes to cleaning up, don't wash the wax down the drain as it will clog the pipes. Instead, use boiling water and wipe any equipment and utensils coated in beeswax out with a paper towel. As beeswax isn't easy to clean off utensils and dishes, I recommend using the least amount of equipment possible when making this candle. And that is how to make a coffee candle at home. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you soon again.